What's up guys, Andy here with another episode of Tap Lab. Today, we're gonna to be talking about Product Hunt 4.0. I'm gonna do a quick review of the new update to their app. If you're not familiar with Product Hunt, it's a website and mobile app that shares tons of new product releases every single day. They can be tech products, books, physical products, all kinds of stuff. It's all being aggregated onto this site, which is like, just a list of all of the new products that come out on a daily basis. So you can upvote them, comment on them, talk about them, discuss them with the community there. I've been using Product Hunt since like the very beginning. It's a great way to find new products and new things that are coming out and stay up to date. First, let's hop over to the App Store. Today's date is Tuesday, February 27th, 2018. And we have a new update from Product Hunt, it says, Hi friends, big update to the Product Hunt mobile app, rebuilt from scratch so it's faster, more informative, and focused on product discovery. So I am currently using an iPhone 7 Plus, that's my main device. Let's go ahead and open up Product Hunt here. And here we have the new Product Hunt design, the completely rebuilt app. We can see that I've looked at a few products on top here. So right away there's an orange line along the left side of the screen. Once you look at something, that orange line will go away. And just an overview of the app, here are all the new products for today. If we scroll down, you can see the products from yesterday, the day before that, etc. Up here in the top left, we have our avatar. We can tap on that. If you're not signed in, you can sign in through your Twitter account. And here's my profile. Wow, I've been on here for four years already. That's crazy. But it'll show your upvotes. These are all of the products that I have upvoted. And then in the top right, there are settings. So you can change some stuff there, view some more information. Then it'll show the products that you've submitted and the products that you've made. On the website, it also shows lists that you've created. So you can create different lists or groups or categories or collections, maybe it's called. So I could create a collection of similar products, which I've done on the website, but that's not showing up here in the mobile app. Back to the main screen in the top right, I'm going to tap on the bell. So this is sort of all of the activity or notifications that you get from people that you're following on the platform if they do something or add a new product. And I already did this earlier, but if you want to dismiss all of those notifications, there's like a double check mark in the top right. It's kind of hard to see, but you can tap that and it will dismiss all of the notifications. Now let's go ahead and tap the search bar. When I tap the search bar, this is what comes up. So it looks like this might be the most popular products. I'm not really sure. It doesn't, it doesn't say what this is that it's showing right now. Let's try and search for something. Snapchat. So if we search for Snapchat, it would give us a bunch of things. And then we could tap on one to view the details. This is pretty slow right now. I don't know why. So let's go back cancel that out. One thing that I'm noticing that's missing, on the website there's sections. There's like tech, books, cryptocurrencies, all of that. And this is, uh, it's just not here in the mobile app. It'd be kind of cool if when you hit search, that's what came up. So you could just like go to one of those sections. Like if I could just tap on tech, then that would show up somehow. Or if there was a toggle or a filter, but I'm not seeing anything like that here. So let's tap on one of these. Product Hunt 4.0. That, uh, uh, the animation's pretty clunky there. That's my design review on the animation. Very clunky. Like the black background that comes up behind it. It's kind of sketchy, like, seems like it should be transparent, but it's just kind of... I don't know, not too smooth there. But anyways, the product comes up. There's some giant photos up, up top that you can scroll through. Let's tap on one of those. Okay, so that'll go full screen for these photos. That's pretty nice. I would like for that title and subtitle to be bigger. It's kind of just like losing it in the hierarchy. I think that's one of the most important things, the title, so that like once you tap on this, it reaffirms that this is the title, this is the thing that you're on. So I can tap on this upvote button that says that I've upvoted it. I can tap get it and that will open up a panel on the bottom that allows me to go to the link in the app store or the official website. It'll give a short description. Um, here's like some awards featured four hours ago. 
We'll show the creators here. That too is sort of like bleeding off the edge of the screen. That's kind of weird. Wait, are these the creators? Why is the same guy on there twice? I don't know. But uh, the creator can give like a overview. And you, these are all comments. You can hit show more and it'll go to like a detailed list of all of the comments. But there's that product. And then we can sort of swipe between products this way. It's kind of weird. It like pauses halfway. Um, so that animation right there is a little clunky too. We can swipe between the products there. An interesting animation like, because this is a list view and then you tap and you're going sideways all of a sudden. I do like how there's sort of the card on the left and the right to let you know that you can swipe to side to side. Besides that, in the top right, there's a little share icon that will pop up the panel and you can share stuff as you normally would. It looks like there's a, like a force animation close. So if you swipe down hard, it will close that panel. So that's not very intuitive or smooth, but it is there. And that's pretty much it for the Product Hunt mobile app. Some pros and cons in there. I like that you can use it on a mobile app. I personally prefer the web experience. I like, I like having the different sections there, the additional information on the profile page. From a design standpoint, it's pretty clean, but I think it's lacking hierarchy, especially on like these detail pages with the title there. And then there's just a lot of white. A lot of apps are doing this these days. There's not many lines or anything like that divided up this content just kind of just kind of seems like it's all floating there and it get, gets jumbled together I think that might be more of a personal preference but there it is product hunt 4.0 for mobile hope you guys found this review helpful let me know down in the comments what you think of the new product hunt 4.0 mobile app also be sure to subscribe to the channel for daily tutorials tips tricks reviews updates and everything like that for mobile apps and devices I'm also working on a new version of tap lab tap lab 2.0 version two coming soon. As you've seen so far, all of the videos are sort of re recorded in this vertical mode on my phone here. So we're still going to be doing that, but we're adding in some stuff. You'll just have to wait and see. Hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you next time.